Did you know that NX can be added to any sort of project, even if it's not a monorepo? So let's check out how we can add NX to a quick repo and speed it up with NX caching. Let's go. So this is a setup generated with the quick CLI and you can clearly see this is not a monorepo project. So we have the source folder at the very root. We have a package JSON with all the different scripts here. And so I can just run npm run build and this would run a quick build of this application setup. So why would I want to have an X in this setup? Well, here's a couple of different scripts that are actually running locally as well as on CI. So there's the build for like the client preview, the build itself. There's also the linting process and potentially you might also have like a test script or something like that, which could be cached in CI. For instance, if you just change a couple of spec files, there's maybe no point in running the build again, but that could be cached. Now adding NX in here is actually super easy. All we need to do is run MPX NX at latest in it. And so this now walks me through a couple of different questions. First of all, it asks which of the following scripts are cacheable. And so the build is probably cacheable, build client and build preview, I guess as well, build types as well. Dev deploy, we probably don't want to cache that, but linting is definitely another target that we can cache. So we can confirm this. We could now continue and specify the different build outputs for each of these scripts. Note that by default, NX captures common outputs like build or dist folders. So we can just skip these. Do we want to enable NX Cloud? Sure, why not? So what happened here is mainly, first of all, the NX package got added as well as NX Cloud, but that is only because we opted into having the remote distributed caching. And there is a small object declaration down here, so that NX node in the package JSON, which simply denotes that this is now a root level project that NX should take care of. There's also the NX JSON, which mostly specifies with which cacheable operations we have there. And those are the ones that we kind of confirmed in the setup process. And you can keep adding here as you need. If you look, take a closer look at the build scripts, you can now see they are wrapped or prefixed with that NX exec command. And this simply allows to run the quick build through the NX pipeline without me having to change the actual script. So I can still go and run npm run build as I did before. And this now runs the whole build script from quick build through the NX pipeline. And as a result, you obviously can, first of all, investigate all the logs on NX cloud because we have enabled that, but also we get caching. So if I rerun this, now this command has been cached and just pulled out of that cache. And so I don't even have to change the commands, although I totally could. So rather than having npm run build, I could just run nx build and nx would automatically capture and run this build script here. And so with this, you're already actually set up. Now, as a next step, as an additional thing, you could start looking into fine tuning the caching by defining what actually goes into the different scripts. Now, by default, NX captures all the project resources, but we could go ahead and open NX JSON and define here, for instance, a target default property. And say, for instance, for the build script, we define there are inputs, which include, for instance, all the various source files, but we might want to exclude the root level ESLint RC JSON. So with this, we're basically telling NX that whenever we run the build, these should be the files that should be included in the cache why we don't want to necessarily include the ESLint configuration, meaning that whenever we change the ESLint, our build cache wouldn't be invalidated, but that should only happen for the actual lint task. You can read up much more details on how to configure and find your new caching on annex.dev. So hope this was helpful. If it was, definitely like and subscribe this video, look on our YouTube channels for other interesting resources, and I'll catch you all in the next one.